Hi guys, welcome back to Welcome Home Custom. Today we are going to learn how to assemble our bat tiered tray. Let's get started. Okay, so let's go back over our pieces. Now that I have all my pieces painted, we have the spider web and the ring. I went ahead and glued the ring on already uh, for sake of time. And because when I was painting, I wanted my edge to disappear on my seam. So I used tight bond glue and I just held it together with clamps and let it dry and then I painted. We have the two bats um, that you need to paint front and back. <clears throat> we have this kind of gothic uh, styled base and then we have our four feet. So, uh, oh, and then we have our spider webs which I cut in acrylic and we have the top which I cut in acrylic which is a little dusty. Uh, so, what we're gonna do first is we are going to put the bat's uh, feet and the spiderweb feet on the uh, on the bat and the spiderwebs, and then we're going to attach the top, and it'll make more sense in a little bit. Now you'll notice that there are four different slots. The slots with the little uh, three circle design that is where the back goes and then the slots with this um, additional score design is where the spider webs will go okay so first let's go ahead and attach our feet uh, since I painted these are probably going to be super tight so we are going to have to really work these on uh, may even need to sand we'll see let me see if I can work this on. I might be able to, but it's going to be super tight. So keep that in mind. If you've measured your slots, once you take, once you paint it, it gets a lot tighter. And you want it all the way up to the top. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the other one. So, so there's our two bats. Put the feet on our uh, spider webs. Now we want to make sure we put them on the right way. So your spider web needs to be going outward, okay? Like that. If you do it the other way, the wrong way, you'll see that it overlaps incorrectly. So you need to flip it around. It should fit perfectly on the piece, like so. Okay, now what we're gonna do, make sure my, I'm dry, flip this over, and we're going to attach the bat. to see which side I want out. I think I want that side out. I'm going to set it in the tabs and work it into place. Again, keeping in mind that I really probably are going to have super tight tabs because of the paint I added. Now something you could do if it's a major issue is sand off some of that paint. All right, let's see, which one do I want facing out? I think I want this, this side facing out. We're just gonna push it into place. Like 
so. Push this side a little bit more. There we go. Now we want to put our legs on. They should be going towards the inside. Whoops, not even lined up. There we go. Same on this side. And if your slots are tight enough, you will not need to glue. You can obviously glue if you want to. I rarely do. Okay, so now we're going to set this on top and we are going to line up our slots. There's one. There's two. Here's three. Of course, the last one's gonna be the tough one, huh? Oops. I'm going to give it a little tap. There it goes. Okay. Flip it around. Clean it up. that is assembled. Now, I've made an additional piece. Let me wipe it off. It's got super dusty because I was sanding in here, but I made an additional piece that you can put on top if you like. Or you can probably need to clean it. Or you can use a clear acrylic so you can see the spider web really shine through. And then I used just these tea lights underneath. The other thing that I thought would be really cute is putting like a cauldron up top with a, uh, you know, candy or whatnot. So there it is. All right, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure to subscribe and grab the file at my website, welcomehomecustom.com. Thanks, guys.